For the second night in a row, locals came together to show support for Cubans who are thousands of miles away. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. Dozens traveling across the valley to the federal courthouse downtown with chants, flags, and a message of unity. Sasha Loftus joining us live near Las Vegas Boulevard and Clark with more on tonight's movement, Sasha. Brian, that movement is continuing nearly five hours after it started. You can see a large group still here across from the federal courthouse downtown. Now, many we spoke with tonight have family and friends in Cuba. They say those they love are suffering, and they're holding these demonstrations to stand by them. Chance cries and pleas for change. Carry across the streets of Las Vegas. We need uh, all the support possible. As dozens stand with those suffering more than 2,400 miles away. The Cuban people are dying. The Cuban people are hungry. Save Cuba! Wednesday's demonstration marked the latest of many here in the valley and all around the world all to support the people of Cuba. We are sick and tired of having 62 years of communism and brutal dictatorship inside of our island. Thousands of Cubans are calling for an end to the country's 62-year communist regime. They're taking to the streets for the first time in decades, citing deteriorating living conditions, food shortages and price hikes, only made worse by the COVID-19 crisis. We need some help because our people cannot do it by themselves. Those here are asking the United States government for help, and they want us all to understand. When you tell people here how life is in Cuba, they don't believe you. They're fighting for those they love and the freedom they so desperately deserve. You know, it's either now or never. Now back out here live just a few hours ago, reports surfaced of the Cuban government temporarily lifting restrictions on the food or medicine travelers can bring as an apparent concession to demands. But protests are still happening all across the country. Now here in Las Vegas, again, those impassioned pleas continue. Now this group is set to hold another demonstration coming up this Friday night. Of course, stay with 8 News Now for the latest coverage. Reporting live downtown tonight, Sasha Loftus, 8 News Now.